at St. Rita Catholic Church. So first of all, I want to say this. Everybody give themselves a round of applause because y'all really outdone y'all stuff for real. Y'all put on the show. Um, let me just say this because here at Samira TV, one thing I always try to do is I try to keep it respectful, but I also try to keep it real. Before coming here, I felt like, like I was so looking forward to this like all week. But like today, it just felt like the devil was trying to keep me from coming. First of all, I did not feel well. Um, second of all, um, I was supposed to do some other things like dump all of my stuff off of my phone into my hard drive. My cousin was going to help me. He did not call me in time. <laughs> um, I had invited a guest. She canceled. So I just felt like, you know, the devil was like really trying to stop me from coming here. So I'm just glad because I wasn't going to let anything stop me from making it. So I appreciate you guys for welcoming me. I appreciate you guys for working so hard on this. Like, I can tell y'all worked hard on this. So, um, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and get into the interview. So let me just, let me ask you. <laughs> Now that it's all over, you know, how do you feel? How do you feel about the ceremony that took place tonight? Uh, Are you shy? Not really. First of all, what's your name? Oh, I'm Nicola Nyango. How long have you been a part of the group? Uh, almost six months. Six months? Yeah. How do you feel? Oh, I'm happy. And uh, I really feel special in being in Centrita Youth. Yes. And uh, being with us is just like being in a happy family. And yes. I'm happy about it. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Thank you. All right, so let's get into this. We're sitting with the youth leader, <laughs> Mr. Michael. And um, basically, he leads the youth of St. Rita Church. And I just want him to introduce himself and just tell me a little bit about yourself, like, you know, how long you've been um, a part of the church and in your position. And just tell the people a little bit about yourself. Mm, thank you. Well, my name is Michael Ongoro. Ongoro is the most preferred name in church. <laughs> so I've been in leadership this is my first year, from January till December. It's, I'm, I'm coming a full circle. This, this, this coming January. Okay. So being in this family, actually there's no leader amongst us. Everyone is a leader at his or her capacity. Amen. We try and bring brick and mortar to harmonize and bring something nice. So yeah. you're more like an organizer? I'm a member at the same time, a leader. But mostly I, I love being a member because they, they always take the part of leadership, each and everyone. Okay, pause. Capacity. You. What does Mr. Michael do for the, for the youth? Because I can see he's a very humble guy. <laughs> so I need somebody else to answer this question. Uh, he organizes and he gives us opportunities to explore in different talents and different activities. Yes. So we can be ourselves and uh, yeah, be confident in churches. Very good. And what's your name? My name is Valerie Nondi. Thank you for keeping it real. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so um, how do you feel about tonight's ceremony? I feel great. It has been long coming. It has been a long wait, a long struggle. Having it accomplished, I think it's a sigh of relief to all of us. But for my own vision, my own personal vision towards uh, the church, I feel I feel just proud of it. all okay. of us, yeah. Let me help you out real quick. No, 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 you're good. You just got something right here. It's like a piece of lint from your Santa Claus hat. Okay. Um, <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So, um, my next question is, what was tonight all about? Like, what, what, what was the... In totality, like, what was the whole purpose of the ceremony? Mm, the whole purpose was to bring hope. Uh, in our church calendar, we, we always have, before Christmas, we have the Advent season. 
the Advent season is a season of hoping, of expecting, uh, and for the this season is a of giving life to something new. So I feel the whole concept of this uh, concert was to bring life to something new because we're just getting started now. It is just a, a matter of giving life, giving birth, then we start nurturing. So for now, the vision was to reach out to, first of all, our locality, Choka, go to Nairobi, we go to, to Kenya, reaching out to, to, to the youths and bringing them together through art, dance, the hopeless, the mentally, we we'll say not challenged, but <laughs> the mentally burdened, mm -hmm. just uh, help them relieve their pressure through art, help them uh, have a sense of life through art. So our main vision is to reach out to the entire globe, like across Africa, mm -hmm. and also across, across the world, just ministering. It's a way of ministering to us. First of all, what we do, we come, we heal people, then we minister through them, through their healing. So they, they give a manifestation of their healing through this art. Yes. And um, what's the name of the priest at this church? Uh, the parish priest is named Father John Kiari. Okay. Yeah. Was that the man that I took a picture with? No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> that was for that Dodena. Dode. Okay. Dode no. Uh, and what's the first lady's name? Madam Lea. Lea Wangari. Yes. I really like her. There's something about her she energy. She's so charming. There's something. Um, so tonight, it seemed like not only were the church members here, but you guys bought the whole community out. So what does it, like... First of all, what is the name of this community? Because it seems like it's more of a village to me. Mm -hmm. It's actually a community, a village. You can say a village, but uh, we're in a, in a Choka locality, Choka locality. Okay. So our church is St. Rita Choka. The Choka is our locality. But in terms of the community, we have two segments. This, uh, we have a, a border road. Mm -hmm. We have people from from up and then people coming down. So it's a harmony of, like I could say, approximately a radius of five kilometers, a radius of five kilometers, yeah. Okay. So, um, like, in the future, like, what is your goals for the youth organization? Mm -hmm. We have many goals. <laughs> but first of all, our goal is to I will repeat, give hope. Uh, the second goal will be to have to have our own theater, theater house, with facilities, with the instruments, costumes, rostrums, backdrops, just an entire theater, so that we can, when we have a movement, when we have uh, all the resources behind us, we only worry about the content, which I believe from this point it's an eye opener. We have. The content. So our end goal is to have to, to be a a big to have a big theater that will entail culture, music, and that. And our vision is again to give hope. Yeah, and then I heard you. Um, we were talking on the phone the other night, and I heard you said that you wanted to spread that hope all throughout Africa. And I thought that was like a really beautiful thing, you know, mm -hmm. because you. you know whether here or whether in America, people are losing hope. And so I just think that that's a really good mission statement. Thank you. Um, so, I mean, do you guys like um, do like fundraisers? Like, you know, how are you going to like be able to get this theater or to be able to continue your voyage and spreading hope through Africa? Mm -hmm. uh, so far, we are relying on the goodwill of the community, just the little that they have. But mostly we we organize shows, concert like this, or this one of them, but we don't charge. So the aim of the show is to at least garner something small for our end goal, which is to have a theater. Uh, we have been having some small fundraising through the friends of the youth. We have a group of friends of the youth who donate something small, which comes a long way. So fundraising, we are, we are, we are now from this from this, from this point, we are looking forward to having now a bigger fundraising in terms of concerts, in terms of uh, being, being in weddings, being in functions, 
just performing our our, our art and having some revenue. So yes. this was a stepping stone for us to now ex to, 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 to execute the long the long term goal. Well, it's um, I think it's you know not a coincidence that I met you guys mm -hmm. um, because I grew up dancing and singing and rapping mm -hmm. and so I love it and um, you know here at Samura TV what I want to continue to do is I want to continue to support you guys I don't have a lot of money in the bank you know what I'm saying but I'm rich in my mind my heart my mm -hmm. soul and my spirit and you'd be surprised how far that would take you my mission is spreading the um, the message of optimal health is wealth because a lot of people nowadays, young people are chasing a bag, you know, and, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know, but what I really want people to know is even people with the bag, if they don't have their health, then what is the bag good for? Mm -hmm. So the most important thing that I want you guys to know is to take care of your health, take care of your bodies, take care of your temple, and it'll take care of you. Um, trust me, the money's gonna come. I know, you, you know, it might not feel like it now, you know, I, and you guys have Michael, you know what I'm saying? He's an upstanding guy, so y'all are headed in the right direction. But like you said, don't give up that hope. Keep that hope, man. Keep that faith. Tonight, all that faith and, and love and stuff y'all was giving, like, don't let tonight stop y'all. Keep it up. You know, that's called a morale. Um, morale. So keep the morale up because y'all stronger together than apart. And faith really do change things. So just remember that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think that riches is in their pocket, but your riches and your wealth is in your soul and your spirit. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Um, so what I wanna do is I wanna continue to work with Michael, work with you guys so we can get your message out to not only to Africa, but to the United States. Because, yeah. Um, you know, part of that, um, God is showing me a purpose that he has for my life. You know, for me to come here, the first country outside of the United States, I came here and that was for a reason. So maybe God want us to open up a bridge between here and the United States mm -hmm. so we can do something big. Not sure. Yeah. Um, but is there anything that, you know, you guys, you, you would like to say, to add? I mean, anything. Oh, first of all, we are so much grateful for your support. I think all of us, we have felt the, your support through the costumes, through the instruments, just really been really like was for that, but it has really come a long way in helping us, because at some point you were sort of, we were giving hope, but at some point we were sort of hopeless because of the costumes. Yeah. But I think when you came aboard, we had some, some finances pumped, which I, I mentioned to them about it. Yeah. <laughs> so we thank Samira TV so, so, so much for the opportunity. Through that act, you've given us hope. I just want to show you guys how much I believe in you because I don't have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. But the little money I do have, that's how much I believe in y'all. And that's how much I want y'all to keep the hope mm -hmm. alive. So whatever I have, I gave it to y'all. Mm, thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, that's how much I believe in y'all. And I know how important costumes are because I used to do African dance in America. Oh. And that, that just makes your confidence so much better. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have the costumes and stuff. And, you know, I actually, I grew up in poverty. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know what it's like to live in poverty. I know what it's like to kind of lose hope. Like, I know. But, you know. Y'all keep going, man. Keep pushing for real. Cause, like I told Michael, like I'm, a, I never thought I'd be a Grammy contender. You know what I'm saying? A professional songwriter. I've been in two Billboard magazines. It wasn't because I had money. It's because I had hope and I had faith. Mm -hmm. So, you know, 
that's, that's what I want you guys to take from this. And, you know, respect, um, respect your elders, respect yourselves, respect these children, respect your community, you know, and just keep pushing. Do you have something to say, young lady? You don't have nothing to say? All that singing you do? You ain't got no conversation for us? Would anybody else have anything to say that they would like to add? We all say thanks for your small number, for your two appreciation. We all say thanks. And all also, eh? Thanks. Again? Thanks. Again, louder? Thanks. That's all. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to Samir TV, the St. Rita Catholic uh, Christmas Eve edition. And you guys keep, you know, y'all keep watching Samir TV because y'all going to see a lot more from them. This is not, this is not going to be the end of our relationship. We're going to keep working. We're going to keep putting content out. And we're going to keep building. Mm -hmm. Before we touch, we have yes. something for you. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> so much for tuning in to Samira TV. Thank you. I appreciate you guys, every last one of you guys. And y'all make sure y'all keep that hope up, okay? This is Samira TV, and remember, optimal health is wealth. Give it up to St. Rita! Yeah.